everybody, it's your girl Cy Brown checking in for Make It Happen Entertainment TV. I'm here with Mr. Chesney Snow at the American Beatboxer premiere at the Schomburg. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm well. I'm Tonight really is well. your night, right? Tonight, are you excited? Tonight is beyond excitement. I mean, uh, really, it's just it's a thrill to be here. Uh, you know, it's such a legendary uh, space, you know. Um, and then to be, you know, showing our work, which has been, you know, years in the making, you know, um, it's just really, I'm still trying to pinch myself, you know. Well, I'm going to pinch you. You pinch me. No, what, pinch. Wait, what is this? No body fat? What is this? I, I'm this is trying. no body fat. I'm <laughs> I'm no. trying to do the, 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 you know, the vegetarian, vegan thing. I know. I'm trying to so pinch you to make sure it's now real. Every now a little bacon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but listen, you know, we have a room full of people here tonight. They're here to see you. They're here to see this film. Yeah. What do you want people to know about how you felt when you were creating this film? Wow, that's a, that's a huge question. I mean, I, I, I think they're here to see the craft, you know. Um, I think that... There's been a huge resurgence in the in the art of beatboxing, and I think that you know the more that people see the craft, you know, the more they realize that it is a true art form of hip hop, you know, and just of music. So I think that you know what what I wanted people to get out of this was to be able to you know experience, well, understand that beatboxing is a culture that's developed, that it that it is a true art form. It it, it belongs in the ranks of all the other elements of hip hop. You know, and it deserves to be respected like the other elements of hip hop. Well, that's one of the things that everybody was saying this evening that, you know, everybody knows breaking, MCing, graffiti, DJing. But what happened to beatboxing? That is one of the elements. And I'm so happy that this is being illuminated. Right. So, you know, right now we still have more people streaming in. When you were, right. um, I, I, know, I know you have to get in there because you're probably going to do a Q&A. Right. When, when, when people watch the film, I, what was your position when you were filming overseas because overseas beatboxing is huge right. what drew you to the overseas market as opposed to staying domestic well what what drew me here is that you know the, the craft came from here and one of the reasons it, that I started the event and worked to produce the film was because I didn't want that story to get retold right. a lot of the times when you're dealing with art forms that that come from our home and our community and our culture um, it has a tendency to become very famous right. and then become retold. Right. You know, not by us. Not by us. Not by, not us. by us. By you know, well, it, you, you know, you could say it's retold via commercials, but you know, it's really, you know, it's really a situation in which you know the the you know the craft grows and it develops, and then sometimes people like to write history out of it, right. and then write and write us out of it. Right. And so that's, you know, that's really one of the reasons why I really wanted this to be seen as American Beatboxer. You know, we have brilliant artists, it's, it's you know, so uh, the craft, the cra thank you, thank you. Uh, the craft, you know, and since then, since we've done the event, you know, our community here has grown. Our, the, you know, the, the next generation, their skills have, have, have begun to rise, you know. And you're so, raising the standard. You're raising the bar. We're working to raise the bar and we're working to, you know, to, to make sure that the culture you know, uh, is, is preserved and that, that story is told so that, you know, people like Kenny Muhammad and, and Eminon and Razel, you know, Ken, Eminon is here, Kenny Muhammad is here, you know, uh, you know, Razel and, 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 and the real founders of the craft, you know, are, are recognized, you know, and so, you know, someone said, you know, hey, I'm a pioneer for doing this. I mean, it, 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 it really just feels like I received a lot from beatboxing. You know, there's a there's an ether to the craft. You know, there there is a spirit to this craft. You know, like there is a spirit to hip hop. Like an energy. There's an energy to it. Yeah, and so, you know, you know, for me, the craft has been really good to me. You know, uh, you know, it's blessed me, and it's a part of you know my responsibility, our responsibility, to make certain that the you know that the story gets told and that we carry the tradition on as American beatboxers, and I as an art form. I, I, I totally feel the same way. I'm not going to hold you too much longer because I know the crowd is waiting. How was the beer? Bronx Pale Ale from Bronx Brewery. I, when you get, went right to the table, you were like, it's smooth. Yo, I got to get me a case of that. <laughs> you know, um, I, you know, I, I, I usually, I love Indian, Indian Pale Ale. That's like one of the things I buy. So this is the first time I ever had it. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be copping that. Oh, that's, that's what's really, up. It's really great. Well, I'm glad. Listen, get in there with everybody. Thank you. Go do, go do your thing. I'll be in in a second. All right, see you soon. Thank you. I mean, this, tonight is just one of those nights where we have this cast of people coming through, hip-hop heads, pioneers.
pioneers, everybody just coming through to celebrate and, and highlight the one of the almost forgotten elements of hip hop. So I'm honored to be here repping MIHE TV. We got Kango Kid in the house from UTFO. We got Eminon here. I mean, I'm supposed to be looking at the camera and I'm looking around trying to see who's here tonight. But uh, it's your girl Cy Brown checking in for MIHE TV. We'll be here all night and I'll see you soon.